Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally gonna dye my hair and I know it's like a big mess right now. It's about three different colors. You can't really tell here, but at times it's blonde, at times it's orange and also brown. So I wanna fix that. And instead of going to the hairdresser like I probably should, I am doing it myself. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna cut it and bleach it. So I'm prepared, right? Um, we've got this hair dye and then this volume 10 thing. Gloves, a bowl and brush, and a bleach sachet. <laughs> this is because I'm doing the underneath part of my hair blonde, so it's not a lot. Hopefully it's enough for it. I haven't washed my hair in like two days preparing for this. And yeah, I also need to trim my fringe and do some kind of face framing, which I don't know how to do, I know. Um, and I probably shouldn't be doing it myself because I've never done that before but I'm doing it. Anyways, I've got a Brad Mondo's video <laughs> right now because I was told to do some research before getting into this. So that's what I'm doing. He says, don't wash your hair for a few days after bleaching, which is um gonna be a challenge. I don't think I should, I can do that. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's good. I feel like this side's a little bit thinner than this side. Yeah, I think that's good. And then just tie off the bottom. These are my sections. <gasps> I'm gonna try wrapping it with foil. I don't think this is gonna work. Basically, first I need to section off the bottom so the dye doesn't get in the blonde part, soon to be blonde. Then I need to section the top part into four parts, like Brad Mondo says. So basically, I we tried to section off the bottom bit, and I just don't know how to not get dye on that part. I'll show you. Ooh, I should get Vaseline and put it on the hairline. I saw people do that, right? Just like... Am I doing this right? Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, so first we're gonna part it down the middle all the way to the end. This is difficult because I have the bottom section sectioned off. I don't have a comb, so... Like, here? It's like right above the ear. Okay, I'm done. Sectioned off. Let's see what's next. I didn't know you could use blonde dye on natural hair because I did that once in year four it did nothing so I don't know okay apparently tan volume doesn't lift with bleach so I don't really know what to do now um we'll get to that problem later okay so I'm a little concerned because on this bleach packet, it says you use 20 or 30 volume of this. But the girl at the shop said I could use this for bleach. Again, I'm gonna have to look at it after I dye it. So we're gonna see later how we're gonna fix this. But it's chill for now. Maybe we'll go back and get another volume. So, I think I'm going to try mixing now. This is what I don't know how to do because I always semi-dye my hair. I mean, not always. I used to um, semi-dye it purple when I had blonde hair. And so, like, that was pretty straightforward. Simple, just squeeze it out and put it on. But permanent dye is obviously different. So, I'm going to have to learn as I go. How much of this 
Did you say double the amount of this to this? I can't remember, I have to check. Okay, so one part hair dye and two parts of developer. Okay, my friend said to do start with the roots, but he's saying do the roots last. But I don't know if he's just saying that for virgin hair. Since I've dyed my hair, but my roots are natural. So I'll just follow what he says. This is so confusing, I'm so bad at this. I just want this to be over. Oh my god, it's yellow. Cool. <laughs> it's like spaghetti, literally. I'm just like pouring maybe half a bit more of the tube. Unless I just pour it all out because I'm not gonna be using it again. Smart, okay, use as much as I can and I'll throw the rest out if I need to. Is this too much? So it's really full, it's like a potion. I'm gonna mix it up and hopefully this works. Okay, now it's turning brown. I think that's good. See, this looks like soup. Okay, now it's brown, so that's good. I'll just keep mixing it until it's more smooth. Okay, it doesn't actually smell that bad. I was warned that it would, but I can handle it. The fan's gone. Okay, so we passed the starting stage in the video. I'm just gonna take this out. He said, start with the back section. It's gonna be difficult because I have to dodge that bottom section there. But basically what I do is section off, starting off like this. See, now I need a clip. Okay, where do I put it? Okay. And then really get it in there. God, I'm getting hair dye on the clip. And it's getting really slippery. Oh my god! What? What? I dropped some dye on the floor and I can't really do anything about it right now. You know what? I'm not even gonna clip it. It's too hard. I'm just gonna like throw it back. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Why does it keep dropping? Where is that dropping from? Hello? Oops. Stop dropping! Doing the front bit now. I'm getting hair dye on the sink. Okay, great. I'm not sectioning anymore. Sorry. Thin hair, it's fine. I have thin hair, so like, it's fine, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Maybe while I'm putting all this in my hair, I'll leave you be and I'll just go on live quickly and wait for it to dry. And then I'll come back when I'm ready to wash out. Yeah, sound good? Yeah. I dropped a couple more things. Thanks. <laughs> and also I want to stop the video and go live on Instagram. So should I stop it? Yeah. We're done. Yay. Um, oh my god, my roots are actually going dark too. I think I missed the spot. It's time to wash out, so uh, I'll come back when that's done. Hi, um, <laughs> I washed it upside down. Wow, it's naughty. At some point I want to wash my hair, because I haven't in two days. But you're not meant to wash bleach right after, apparently. That's what he said. Um, but wow, it's looking darker. Very nice. Yeah, there's still some dye coming out, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I don't think I did the greatest job, but yeah. Wow. Is it meant to be so naughty? So everyone says, wait 48, 24 to 48 hours. I am not doing that, okay? I need the finished product to look nice and good. And I haven't washed my hair in two days. And if you don't know me, my hair gets greasy really fast, so there's no way I'm living in this for like another day or two. No. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just gonna shampoo this now. I'm gonna do one round. I usually do two. I'm just gonna do one for now. Condition it because it's kind of knotty. And I'll try and use as little as possible, really. I don't wanna use too much. I washed my hair in cold water. 
because that's supposed to be better. Okay, so here's what's got going on. My mom's gonna go back to the shop and get a 30 developer for the bleach. Hey, I'm back. Okay. I'm here now. I brought food. Yes. Yeah, and we already ate it, so. I've got the bleach and I've got the develop developer. Um, so we're gonna bleach it now. And you got water? Why? I mean music. <laughs> what? <laughs> and after I bleach it, we're gonna dye her hair black. Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. Ah, oh, my neck kind of burns. Ooh, it looks great. Okay, so my timer just went off from 25 minutes. It says to wait 25 to 30 minutes. I don't know, I might wait another five minutes just cause like, you can kind of see it, but it's not really that blonde. I'm gonna unravel it and I'm just gonna see. It's lighter, but it's not ideal. I'm just gonna wait the extra five minutes and I know you're not supposed to dye it, bleach it, I mean, twice in a day. So I'll wash it out after five minutes and if I need to, I'll bleach it in a few days. But for now, this is what we're doing. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that I used volume 20 because that's what she said to do at the shop. Apparently she said 30 will damage your hair. Even though Brad Mondo said he only uses 30 on clients. But what can you do? This is the best that's gonna happen. Okay, I washed it up. Oh my god, oh, that's so cool, wait! Ooh. It's chill, let's just blow dry it and see. What I'm gonna do is trim the bangs, I know they're really fluffy at the moment. And I'm gonna cut these face framing a little. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's it's gonna work. She was the toughest person in all of school. Nothing scared. Oh yeah, poster. Is that what this is about? You want me to change? No. No. I just I recognize. I don't wanna lose what makes me me. I can't believe I just did that. Sorry, this is just <laughs> yeah, they'll paint it like this because Are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so This is my blonde this is actually similar to my natural color, to be honest. But yeah, I've just trimmed my bangs like multiple times in the last few minutes because I, I usually do them like curled. She can't leave it be. Yeah, I usually do them like curled, but I'm trying them out like kind of more straight with a straightener. So um, yeah, they're a lot shorter than before. And then there are my face framing bits. And if I want to have my hair up, it's cute. That is cute. But yeah, look at the blonde. I love it so much. It's so much darker. You can't tell because this lighting's like dark. Yeah. You can tell for her. Look, look, look. Watch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did not straighten it well, but. Look, look at this, look at this. Yay! Um, <laughs> hey, I just thought I'd show you a bit more of what it looks like in the daytime. Um, I'm editing this video right now and I don't have makeup or anything. I don't look good right now But I just wanted to show you the colors and the cut and everything, you know, the blonde is there It looks I'll just take this off. It's curly right now a little the face framing is right there gorgeous and This is after 
two washes so I think it's doing good right now but yeah that's an update for you so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye